This is 1919 Lincoln set in MS69 wet condition. CAC proven unsurpassed rarity in this grade. Though an armistice was declared late in 1918, the superheated wartime economy rolled on into the following year. The Philadelphia Mint set a record for cent production in 1919 that was not exceeded until 1940, when the another war loomed. This is the single finest specimen reported by PCGS, and it was sold for $421,875 with buyer's fee. This is 1944 P. Jefferson Nichols struck on a silver dime planchet a rare error coin in MS-63 condition. According to Heritage, the present lot is a lustrous example with light, honey gold toning and minimal post-strike abrasions. The high points are incompletely brought up and those areas retain the planchet surface. The date and the meat mark are clear and the complete. The strike is uncentered with most of we trust and United States off of the flank. Liberty and the date have stretched appearance due to unstrained outward metal flow. It was sold for $2,400. This is 2008 Saka Javier dollar in MS68 condition. Highly elusive superb gem with immaculate surfaces and vibrant manganese luster. According to PCGS, the 2008 D Saka Javier dollars have one of the lowest mintage, if not the lowest, in the entire series. They are common in grades up to MS66 and MS67. Some sorting is required, but not difficult to find with proper searching. However, in MS68, they are very difficult to find, and probably no more than 100 examples exist in this condition or higher. This superb gem ended up selling for $2,430. Number 11. This is 1999. P. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps. Registry set collectors actively pursue Superb gem examples of this issue, although the present piece is in the class by itself. The strike on this one is needle sharp and the radiant surfaces yield a hint of champagne toning. It was sold for $4,465. This is 1952 S. Roosevelt Time in MS69 condition. Best in a vivid mint set toning, both sides exhibit rich crimson copper and orange russet peripheral colors around the lighter old silver centers. All areas are equally smooth with not even a single trivial blemish as in evidence. It was sold for $5,750. 1919 D Mercury Dime in MS64 Plus condition with full bands. Colorful iridescence cradles the borders of this impressive near gem. The luster is overall satiny and entirely unbroken by friction or blemishes of consequence. A full strike is apparent to all devices with intricacies sharp for even the most stubborn regions. The obverse is host to a number of tie cracks concentrated on lower peripheries with a bisecting crack that extends from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock border. A George's representative of this desirable strike and condition rarity. It was sold for six thousand four hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifty cents. Here is nineteen twenty-six Lincoln Sentinel, a sixty-seven plus red condition. According to NGC, blessed with large mintage and slightly better than usual quality control for the nineteen twenties, the nineteen twenty-six P is easily found in fully red gem condition from fresh or just lightly worn dies. The example illustrated show what the advanced collector should seek in this issue. These scents are likewise common in all circulated grades. Examples could be found in, in pocket change right into 1960s. High-end gems are scarce. This specimen was sold for $3125. This is 1938 The Walking Liberty Alt Dollar in MS67 condition. A simply breathtaking superb gems, right of worst peripheries, layered in vivid crimson red, orange gold, and bright blue iridescence that yields to virtual brilliance elsewhere on that side of a coin. Similar colors are also evident on the reverse, but the more vivid ones are more tightly confined to the right border. Bountiful mint luster and uncommonly smooth sheen round out an impressive list of attributes. It was sold for $10,925. 1950 Washington Quarter in pure 68 condition. With deep cameo designation, razor sharp and almost flawlessly preserved, showing stark contrast between the frosted devices and the liquid-like fields. 
Each side is brilliant, adding to the outstanding white and black appearance. The proof 1950 quarter exists mainly in non cameo grays. The cameo pieces are inherently rare. This true gem was sold for $31,200. Number 12 here is 1914 deal England sent them a 64 plus white condition. According to NGC, though not the lowest mintage issue in the Lincoln Cent series, the 1,193,000 cents coined at Denver in 1914 have the smallest surviving population. The other two dates were targeted by speculators and thus survive in disproportionately high numbers, while 1914 cents flew under the radar until the opportunity to save them was all but lost. Most surviving main state examples of this date are probably from a horde of 70 pieces mentioned by Walter Breen and still in existence through the early 1950s. It was sold for $8,749.12 with buyer's fee. 1977 Jefferson Nickel and Mint State 67 Plus with 5 full steps on the reverse. Grade was assigned by NGC. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, even examples in MS65 appear to be scarce. In MS66, it's very difficult to find whether searching for one or buying one. They just don't show up often. With full steps, it's scarce in any condition and very underappreciated as there are very few examples available. This gem specimen fetched a sum of $1,040.62 with buyer's fee. This is 1999 D. Roosevelt Diamond MS69 condition with full bands. A superb business strike 10 cent piece in threshold of numismatic perfection. Just one point prevents this dime from the finest grade available. That is MS70. Strike is tack sharp and both horizontal bands on the torch are delineated. It was sold for $1,800 on August 20th, 2023. Bicentennial quarter 1976, the clad quarter dollar in MS68 condition. Remarkably, of the more than 860 million, 1976, the quarter struck from the United States Bicentennial. Few examples have qualified for an MS68 assessment at NGC. Brilliant surfaces exhibit pristine fields, satin luster, and full design detail. It was sold for seventeen hundred and forty dollars. Nineteen forty three the Lincoln sent in a six to seven condition. This is an illusive wartime penny with repunched mint mark on a worse. Pristine looking surfaces are satin in texture and virtually perfect in every way. An intriguing coin, although the repunched D is obvious and noted. It was sold for ten thousand and two hundred dollars. Nineteen twenty two no D Lincoln sent in circulated condition. Graded as EF45 by PCGS. The 1922 No D Strong Reverse Scent is rare and valuable variety of the Lincoln Wheat Scent, a coin that was minted by the United States Mint. The term Strong Reverse refers to the design characteristics on the back of the coin. In the case of 1922 No D Scent, the reverse design shows more pronounced and well defined details compared to obverse. This penny was sold for $2,040. This is 1995 Lincoln Sentinel 69 red condition. Extraordinary specimen with immaculate surface preservation, luster, and eye appeal. A 1995 Lincoln Cent graded as MS69 is a high grade coin that's almost perfect in terms of condition. However, whether it's considered rare and valuable depends on a few factors. An MS69 grade indicates that the coin is virtually flawless under close examination but falls just short of the highest grade, MS70. Coins graded as MS69 are highly sought after by collectors due to their excellent condition but they are not extremely rare. Nevertheless, this specimen was sold for $19,202.62 with buyer's fee. Here is 1924 D. Lincoln in MS64 plus red condition. CEC proved an excellent gem. According to NGC, the Denver Mint had not coined since since the small production of early 1922, and the demand for additional pieces returned very slowly to the region it served. Denver coined for the nation's breadbasket states and American farmers were in distressed conditions throughout the decade. Most 1924 descents were poorly struck from a quite worn dice. Full red gems are elusive, and mean state coins in any grade are in constant demand. 
Circulated pieces are likewise quite scarce even in the lowest grades. This Yemen 64 Plus Penny was sold for $4,749.75 with buyer's fee. And here is 1909 SVDB Lincoln Cent in MS64 red condition. A fantastic key date with alluring luster and great surface quality. The 1909 SVDB Cent is highly sought after and rare coin in the field of numismatics. It refers to a Lincoln Cent that was minted in 1909 at the San Francisco Mint and bears the initials VDB of the coin's designer, the Victor David Brenner on the reverse side. The rarity of this coin stems from its limited mintage and historical significance as the first year of the issue for the Lincoln Cent. Due to its scarcity and popularity among collectors, the 1909 SVDB Cent often commands a high value in the coin market. This one was sold for $4,000. Moving on with this 1979 Lincoln Sentinel 68 red condition. Fire orange color adorns rims, progressing lilac gold patina over the central devices and fields. According to Heritage's exceptionally preserved superb gem boasts shimmering mint luster and a bold strike. Tiny ticks on the shoulder and one in front of Lincoln's mouse are noted simply for accuracy. It ended up selling for $2,820.